Something that you don't think a lot of is grammatical rules, rules from English. And why would you? I mean, you graduated high school and there's no need for you to go back and think about some of the things that we were taught in English class. All of those things that we would read about and have to get graded for. We didn't think that we would ever really have any use of it. I mean, I speak English, so why understand the rules of it unless I'm going to be a writer or a journalist? Well, in this case, it becomes helpful because there's something that we were taught didn't think a lot about it, but it's something that we were taught about predicate nominatives. We don't talk about them that much, but in Greek, they are useful. What is a predicate nominative? Well, a predicate nominative comes from or is derived from the a me, which is the kind of I am in Greek. In a rough way, it just kind of means to be. And you think about the word is or the verb is. When we use the verb is or it is, we're really saying what something is or to be. This is that. It is equative, which means it's describing what is. And so if it's in the subjective case in Greek, what do we call that? We call that noun. We call it the predicate nominative. Now, a good example of this and why it's important is in John 1, 1, the very first passage in John 1, debated passage, no need to be debated, especially if anyone understands Greek really or English, unless you are maybe a Jehovah's Witness or something. But in this passage, we, we're going to see a predicate nominative. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Well, what we see here are we've got two nouns, such as the word word and the word God. So going back to it, we have in the beginning was the word. The word is the first noun that we come to. And then the second noun we come to is the word God. The question is, which one of these is the subject? Because they're both in the same case. They're both in the nominative. The question is, which one is the subject? Well, the way we determine this is which one came first. In this case, the word word or the word logos comes first before the word theos. And so theos is, according to the rule, would not be the subject, but what will it be? It would be the predicate nominative. And what did we say the predicate nominative does or is? It determines what it is, what it is to be, or it's, it's kind of derived from the a me. And so the predicate nominative tells us what the word is. For example, so going back to it, in the beginning was the word. The word was God. Now, this word was that we see here, I'll put it back on the screen to be highlighted, is from the verb a me. Notice what you see on the bottom as it's highlighted. It's, from the, it's the imperfect of a me. And so, kaitheos ain and God was halagos, and God was the word, or it's actually shift. So because we know that the predicate nominative is God, then it's telling us what the word, the subject is. So in this case, and the predicate nominative, God is determining what was the word. Are you with me? Why is that important? Well, because the predicate nominative describes what the word is, or in this case, that the word is or was God, then Anyone that would have any doubts as to who Jesus is, he is the word, but he also is God. This lays it out pretty easily to see in Greek. It's not a, it's not a very difficult rule. It doesn't take a whole lot of study and a lot of PhDs and so forth to get it. It's just a simple rule. As a matter of fact, again, we have the same rule here in English, although we don't use it as much. But here is a way of seeing what the predicate nominative does and how it's clear to us that the word was God. Even if someone were to come along because it's just that clear in English, if someone were to come along and say, that's not what it means, or it was a God, no. This is to state that the word, the subject, is described or determined what it is by the verb a me, or in this case, ain, which is was, it's in the predicate nominative, so it, just, so it tells us that the word was God, describing what the word is, God. Amen.